Jason Shutt here with Duke Rehab Performance. We've been highlighting some hip flexor stretches. Um, and thus far, they've all been in a kneeling position. So if you have a client or patient who is a little balance compromised, it can really affect the way they can perform those stretches because they're focused more on their balance than they are uh, appropriate setup position to get the stretch that we're looking for. So one of the stretches that I like to go to in that case is the bretzel stretch uh, created by uh, Greg Cook. It's a wonderful multi-planar stretch to really work on some thoracic mobility along with uh, hip extension. But the setup here is really important. So what we're going to have uh, Scott do, first he's sideline. We're gonna take this top leg and we wanna take up all the slack. So we get this knee higher than the hip, which is gonna lock out his lumbar spine. Because again, we're not looking uh, just to get lumbar extension. We really wanna work on that hip extension. So once he's set up here, now I'm going to have him roll slightly forward to trap this lower leg against the ground. And he's going to bring it back into as much extension as he can. He may already be feeling a stretch. From here, we're going to bend the knee up and he'll reach back for the top of his foot. Now, simultaneously, he's gonna drop this shoulder and this foot toward the floor. And this is going to provide a stretch all the way from this top shoulder diagonally across his upper body down into that right hip flexor down into the quadricep. This may be a great place for him to start. He's just working on good diaphragmatic breath and relaxing into the stretch. He can also perform some contract relax here uh, to get some increased extensibility. Now, if your client is saying that they're getting majority quadriceps stretch, that's fine. But if you're really looking for a high hip flexor stretch, we can adjust the setup position. So I'm gonna take his foot here, I'm gonna bring him back into a little bit more hip extension and now he can't quite make it to his foot, so I'm just going to give him a band to assist. And now we're really going to work on that glute contraction to push the hip forward. Now we can get a, a little higher stretch in the anterior hip as opposed to mid-substance of the quad. 